Hi, my name is Tara Mundell and I'm 11 years old. I don't know if I'm a sage or a scientist, but my current intent as a child is to express what equality means to kids and adults alike. This word is important to our society. In the dictionary, the definition is the state of being equal, but a way I like to describe it is having the right to do what you want and have the opportunities like everyone else. How many r people in the room were bullied as kids? How many of those same people were bullied because of the color of their skin? Those people and myself share something. Last year on a day at school called International Day, a day when we were supposed to celebrate our origin, I was proud to be where I was from, India. I shared facts in front of the class and I dressed in an Indian dress, like all of the others dressed from they were from. But the next day, Two boys bullied and harassed me. They called me stupid, bragger, and ugly, and said that I was different from all of the other kids, and I didn't deserve to be at my school. I was terrified. When I came home, I sobbed and trembled. My mom tried to comfort me, but I was still scared to go back to school the next day. After trying over and over and over again to calm me down, my mom grabbed my hand strong and looked me in the eye and said, Tara, listen to me. Amazing people in the world share your story. When Martin Luther King started standing up for his beliefs, he was attacked, harassed, and put down. Going even further into pa the past, there was Mahatma Gandhi, a defender of the country of India, who shared, sh who shared that belief and stood up for his country. You should always be proud of who you are and celebrate it. My mom was right. Both of these heroes were heroic and fearless. As my uncle, Sanjeev Chopra, said yesterday, the heroes didn't do it for the history books. They did it out of belief that they deserved equality. How can we fix bullying? One thing, awareness. I am only so aware because I have amazing experiences like traveling around the world and meeting amazing people like Dr. Terrence Roberts and all of you here. I believe with education and exposure, kids will learn that bullying somebody because of the pigment of their skin is a little bit ridiculous. I have brown skin, you have white. I'm from China, you are from Africa. I have a little sister, I do too. That's what we have in common. That is what is important. What do you adults need to learn? You need to realize that while we are in individuals, we are all leaves on the same tree. Kids are just as important as grown-ups, and you know why? We are, we are going to be you in the next years. We are the next generation. And even if we don't look alike, why can't we be friends? Equality is more than bullying. It's about our fundamental rights as human beings, especially as children. It is the right to live. I'm a youth ambassador for UNICEF, and we are raising awareness for maternal and neonatal tetanus. Did you know it only takes $1.20 to save a child's life? That's all it costs to have the right to live. But then why do some people just throw, the, throw away the reminders and ignore the posters? Why? It is a perfectly normal right to walk down the street and feel safe. When I heard about Trayvon Martin, I felt sad and angry. I felt like just because he was wearing a hoodie and he was African American, he was already suspected to be a criminal. And when he died, his parents didn't get justice. That's the reality of racism today. And it is the right to love who you want. My aunts who are married to each other and have four kids are the happiest people I know, but they do not have equality like everyone else. I was surprised and amazed yesterday to hear from civil rights heroes like Diane Nash, Clarence Jones, and Terrence Roberts. They are all the people, they are the people who make it possible for children like me to go to school and have the opportunities to do what I do. But I still know that we have a far journey to go. However, I believe that it is possible that children can live without fear for being treated unfairly. That is my mission. When I deeply thought about my bullying experience, I regretted ever second guessing myself. 
And I realize that us who get picked on probably have something those bullies don't have. We have family, we have love and friendship, we have each other, and that is what's important. Thank you. Stay <laughs> up. Two months ago, I said, uh, I said to her, uh, do you want to speak at Sages and Scientists? And she said, yes. I said, uh, do you want any help with your speech? She said, yes. So I kept asking her, when, we, when are we going to do that? And she kept saying, I haven't decided. I want to listen to the other speakers. So I just want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, she wrote that speech totally by herself. <laughs> 